Welcome to MC Squared Coaching Center free video lecture on mathematics and hindi lang po pang civil service exam kahit en kahit anong entrance exam magagamit po ito in even board exam okay so my topic for today or uh, my topic ko po ngayon ay word problems part 2 and I'm engineer Melvin Jan Habla Banzuelo CIS so, problem number one, the LCM of two numbers is 48. The numbers are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is the sum of the two numbers? Again, the LCM of two numbers is 48. The numbers are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is the sum of the two numbers? Again, uh, ang approach natin, pwede tayong reverse method, pwede rin tayo using equation. Now, i-explain ko lang yung reverse method class. You can try. And then, uh, ang i-present ko ngayon is using equation. So, using the reverse method, let's try to check if yung mga nasa choices ay may ratio ba na 2 is to 3. So, si letter A, if i-divide natin by 10 itong dalawang uh, numbers na to, 20 divided by 10, 2, 30 divided by 10, 3. So, therefore, check po ito si letter A na may ratio siya na 2 is to 3. So, letter B naman, if we divide natin si A na uh, si, B, uh, si 18 at saka si 27 ng 9, so 18 divided by 9, 2, 27 divided by 9, 3. Check pa rin po, 2 is to 3 pa rin si letter B. So, letter C naman po, if we divide natin 11, si 22 at si 33, 2 is to 3 pa rin po yung ratio nila. Then, dito naman po, i-divide natin by 8, 16 divided by 8, 2, 24 divided by 8, 3. So, therefore, 2 is to 3 pa rin yung ratio ng letter D. So, based on the ratio sa reverse method, tatlo, apat po sila ay, ay uh, possible correct answer. Now, next naman gawin mo is reverse method is to get the LCM ng mga nasa choices. Kung sino yung may LCM na 48, yun po yung correct answer. Okay, yun po yung correct answer. Kung sino man sa apat ang may LCM na 48. So, malabong maging 48 ang LCM nito class kasi may common multiple sila na 10. And 10 is hindi po ito siya ma-divide by 10. Okay? Kung 48 divided by 10, 4.8, not a whole number, so hindi po sagot si letter A. Ito naman po, if na, com, ang common nila is 9, 9 times 2, 18, 9 times 3, 27, take note that 9 also is not, okay, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Hindi po siya uh, multiple. Uh, 48, hindi niya multiple si 9. So, therefore, eliminate din natin sa letter B. Okay, 48 divided by 9, hindi po whole number. Ganon din dito sa 11. 48 divided by 11, hindi rin po whole number. So, eliminate natin dito. Kasi 11 ang common multiple ng 22 and 33. Now, sa letter D, eto, since eliminate mo na si A, B, and C, obvious na masyado yung correct answer dito class. A, C, letter D. Okay, so pero, let's try to solve using equation. So, let x be the common multiple. Since x ay yung common multiple, therefore, the, the two numbers are 2x and 3x based on the ratio po. Then, therefore, ang next po niyan, kunin natin yung LCM ng 2x and then LCM ng 3x. The LCM, yung 2x is 2 times x, yung 3x is x times 3. Then, therefore, the LCM po niyan is bring down the 2, bring down the x, kasi common naman tong x, then bring down 3. 2 times x times 3, then, therefore, the LCM is 6x. Six ang, since ang sabi sa problem, the LCM of two numbers is 48, therefore, 6x is equals to 48. Ito sabi ng given to sa problem. Then, 6x equals to, four, six x equals to 48, then x equals so 48 divided by 6. And 48 divided by 6, then therefore x equals to 8. Para makuha natin yung 2 numbers, 2 times 8 and 3 times 8. 2 times 8, that is 16. 3 times 8, that is 24. Therefore, the 2 numbers are 16 and 24, that is letter, letter D. Okay, so letter D po yung correct answer. Problem number two, the sum of three consecutive integers is 330. What is the largest integer? Let x be the smallest integer. 
Since sabi 3 consecutive, therefore mag-add lang tayo ng 1 sa smallest integer. So therefore we have x plus 1 is the next integer. And from x plus 1, mag-add ulit tayo ng 1. So x plus 1 plus 1, that therefore x plus 2 is the largest integer. Ang next po niyan, i-add lang po natin yung tatlo. x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. So therefore, ayan na po siya. The, the sum of 3 consecutive integers, x, x plus 1 and x plus 2 is... 330. x plus x plus x, that is 3x, then 1 plus 2, that is 3. So therefore, 3x plus 3 equals to 330. So transpose ito sa right side, then therefore you have 3x equals to 330 minus 3. Then therefore, 3x equals to 327, kasi nga, 330 minus 3. Then therefore, x equals to 327 divided by 3. Okay, so 327 divided by 3, that is 109. Then 109, ito po yung smallest integer. Ang next integer is 109 plus 1, that is 110. And the largest integer is x plus 2, that is 111. So therefore, the correct answer here is letter C. Okay, so I hope, klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko po. Okay, so para naman... Uh, maintindihan po natin. So, pero kung hindi po klaro, hanapin nyo po ako sa Facebook, message nyo po ako, screenshot nyo pong part na ito, and kung pwede nyo ma-highlight kung ano yung pong tanong, ano po yung, yung tanong ninyo, then therefore, i-highlight po natin. Para naman, uh, ma-explain ko naman po ng buong detalye. Okay? Problem number 3 of Word Problems Part 2 na lecture, the sum of two numbers is 96. And one of them is 12 more than the other. What are the two numbers? So again, reverse method ang gamitin natin dito class. If we reverse, take note that 36 sa letter A, 36 plus 48, okay? Ano yung sagot? 36 plus 48, okay? 36 plus 48, that is, ang sagot is 84, so, therefore, si letter A is not a correct answer. So, 84 po si letter A. Bakit, bakit hindi po? Kasi ang sabi sa problem, ang sabi sa problem, the sum of two numbers is 96. And si letter A is 40, 40, uh, 48, 84. So, therefore, eliminate na po natin kaagad si letter A. Next. 36 plus 60. Ilan po yan? 36 plus 60. 36 plus 60 is what? 36 plus 60, that is 90, 96. So therefore, possible answer C, letter B. Si letter C naman, 42 plus 54. 42 plus uh, 54, anong sagot? 42 plus 54, that is still 96 pa rin. Okay, 96 pa rin. Possible answer din si letter C. Letter D, letter D, 46 plus 58. 46, ilan kaya? 46 plus 58. Okay, 46 plus 58. That is 104. Okay, 104. So, therefore, sagot, possible answer ba si letter D? Hindi. So, pwede na natin i-eliminate si letter D. Kasi nga, 46 plus 58, that is 104, and 104 is not equal to 96. So, now, dalawa na lang yung possible answer natin class is either letter B or letter C. Take note of the next statement, and one of them is 12 more than the other. Bilugan ko po yung 12. Kailangan yung difference nila is 12. Let's try letter B. So, si letter B, so try natin si letter B, 60 minus 36, okay, 60 minus uh, 36, 12 po ba? Hindi, okay, hindi po yan 12. 60 minus 36 is 20, 24, okay, 24 po yan. So, therefore, hindi po correct answer si B. And it's very obvious na po yung correct answer. Kasi nga, si letter C, 54, 54 minus 42, and that is what? That is 12. 
which is yung 12 na yon nagmatch sa tinatanong sa problem na 12 more than the other. So therefore, the correct answer here is letter C. So yun, reverse method po yung ginamit natin. And when we use reverse method, hindi po tayo gumagamit ng equation. Okay? So thank you for watching and please do not forget to click subscribe and also do not forget to share po sa mga friends natin, sa family po natin para makatulong naman tayo. Subscribe po para every time mag add ako ng new videos, ma-update po kayo na merong new videos na na-upload si MC Squared Coaching Center. Again, my next topic is Word Problems Part 3. Abang-abang lang po. So, and that's all. And enjoy and have a nice day. Thank you.